Okay, so a very startling news story just came out of Milwaukee and it says Wisconsin AI powered flock cameras are tracking where you drive. So they're just coming out with it, trying to desensitize you to the fact that a freaking AI is watching wherever you go, where you go, who you meet, and it's tracking a lot more information than just where you drive. It is tracking who you're talking to. It is track tracking your, your buying patterns, your daily routines. It's tracking all of this. And the people of Wisconsin should be outraged that this technology is allowed in a so-called free, fair, open society. So let's watch some of this video. I want crime to stop. The year may be 2023, but Garrett Langley is talking like it's 1984. I think by the time that my kids are adults, this will be a, a chapter in the U.S. history book where crime was an epidemic and it has largely been solved. He's founder and CEO of Flock Safety, a surveillance technology company aggressively expanding its national footprint. Do you envision a future with a flock camera on every street corner? I envision that, and I envision an America where crime no longer exists. Well, of course he's going to say that. Yeah, just just freaking um, watch everybody at all times. That will fix crime instead of actually paying people a livable wage, um, educating and parenting your children so they don't end up as freaking criminals. They'd rather spy on everyone. They'd rather rather take everyone's rights away instead of just fixing. Go after the criminals. Handle the criminals. Why does everyone have to be spied on? And I'm not. I don't really remember. Did he say that he wanted one of these Orwellian cameras, these AI cameras, in every single home? Oh, I want one of these cameras my, my camera company and every single like, you know how weird that is and it's being tracked there's a lot of algorithms involved nobody knows what it's doing behind the scenes from your point of view they're just taking a picture but behind the scenes they're doing a lot more than taking a picture they are storing all of your movements tracking it tracing it to train an ai a more powerful ai that's way dangerous than the ones now they're going to use all this data in the future once they actually have this technology to put it to use for evil they will use this technology in the future so you might think the technology isn't there now but in the future it's going to be there and they already have your data they have your name they have your patterns they have your movements they have who you know who you surround yourself with um, what you do when you wake up, what you do when you go before you go to bed, they have all that stuff. And people don't even realize that these algorithms will be used for evil. There's no sort of justifiable reason to partake, partake in this, this uh, trial, which really is what it is, a trial, a test trial or a test run for this technology we should instead say no i don't want my data collected no i will not have your stupid cameras no this should not be allowed in my city that would be more effective this country isn't supposed to be a prison camp you don't need cameras on every single corner that's ridiculous to jay stanley that is um a little crazy, I think. It sounds like Orwellian science fiction. You'd be recording all of us everywhere, all the time. The ACLU's privacy and technology policy analyst warned last year that Flock is building a mass surveillance system unlike any seen before in American life. So mass surveillance. So for the first time in human history, we will no longer have access to privacy. Before, if you don't want to be seen by anybody, you just go in an alley where there's no cameras, 
do what you gotta do. Wanna take a piss? Oh, just go in that alley. There's no cameras here. Now there will be cameras in that alley. And you know what else they're gonna add on to this? A social credit score. We all know what's coming. We already have a financial credit score. Now they're going to put on a social credit score, meaning your every single move will be tracked. And if you don't conform, you will be punished. So yeah, this is absurd. Um, we should not allow this sort of technology. I think that and Walmart, they're also doing this. They're also you know those cameras in Walmart where they just say, smile, you're on camera, you're on camera. They constantly remind you that you're on camera. Those have algorithms attached. If you forget to scan an item, it will recognize your face. It will know your name from previous visits. It's, it's absurd. And people still, people aren't voting with their money. Americans are so careless about what, where they spend their money. Let's go to Walmart. It's cheap. No, nothing's cheap. Nothing is free. You're paying something and that just happens to be your freedom. Your freedom to privacy, freedom to secrecy. No, you, you gotta be on camera and we gotta know your entire history with the store and we gotta know your name, all this. And I guarantee everybody's face is uploaded into some sort of facial recognition. They use photos from social media in order to recognize your face later on. It can reveal what kind of, um, you know, political events you go to, medical things, financial things, whether you're a faithful spouse, how often you go to bars. We don't track people. We track cars. As doorbell cameras exploded in popularity, Langley found they often weren't enough to catch neighborhood thieves. So in 20... So ring cameras are a thing. And it's basically like the security camera but it's smaller, it's ba that's basically all it is, a security camera attached to your doorbell. And I actually do like that. If you want a camera on your own property, you should be able to put a camera on your own property for security purposes. But on every single corner in public, they they're talking about putting it on public spaces, in public spaces like sidewalks, like streets and just tracking every single car tracking every single person on all corners of the world they want these cameras yeah i have i have no problem if everybody's house has a camera that wants one but when you start forcing mass surveillance on everybody you're already watching what we're doing on our phones there's already spyware on our phones and on our computers. They also want to see what we're doing in the real world too. 2017, he built a camera that could read license plates. We don't need a video. We need a tag number. <clears throat> Cobb County, Georgia Police Chief Stuart Van Hooser was one of his first customers. This is the single best tool. So look at this freaking sellout. Of course, the police, they are flaunting this technology yet like yeah it's so good it it makes our job so much easier wow this is they're sellouts a real police officer that was genuinely <clears throat> looking out for the people they will be like no we don't need this technology we just need to use real police work real investigations you don't need to spy on every single person and violate their first amendment right for like all their amendments they're violating every single amendment stealing your data especially the fourth amendment they're breaching your your privacy and you're just like wow this is so good the wrong people are police officers the wrong people want to become police officers only people who crave power become police officers Oh man, just just give us all of your privacy and it'll make our job easier. Uh, what do you have to be afraid? Like, come on. 
it's very clear the trajectory we're going in and it's not good it's like 1984 on steroids and add ai into the mix and it's just unlivable it's it it's social controlling the social behavior of your populace by constantly telling them you're watching them big brother like literally they said it in 1984 big brother is watching you they didn't say that for any other reason besides telling them you're watching them so you can manipulate their behavior so they're too afraid to do anything behind in public basically too afraid to do anything so it's just insane um if these cameras are erected i i it, it's it, it's over it's over um regular security cameras they don't add your information to a freaking database why do you need to have ai in it? track every car why do you need to track every car every person all the families where you're going what you're doing you have that information without your consent without your consent I have ever seen in 33 years. When his agency captured an active shooter in May, technology played a huge role. Van Hooser publicly credited Flock for the assist. And that is a very new technology from a very young company. Right. So again, they are praising this technology. Oh, it's the best thing ever. The best thing ever is, is so good. It's, it's, it's a good technology. It makes our job easier. Does it make everybody else's job easier? It, it seems like only law enforcement, their jobs get easier. Everybody else's gets harder. Matter of fact, everybody's lives get harder because you know you're being watched 24-7. Uh, you better not do anything uh, or else the cameras will watch you. I mean, the average American breaks like five laws every single day. There's still laws on, on the books, like don't wear a certain kind of hat. You can't be seen with, with a certain kind of people, which is ridiculous. There's still freaking racist um, laws on the books. And, you know, loitering, they, they, they don't want you loitering. Um, not having a job, that's against the law. You can't not have a job. Or else you'll get put in jail and these laws come from like the 1930s 19 matter of fact before then and they were made to arrest people and put them to work in coal mines so yeah this is completely at the the discretion of the government they can really arrest you for anything but it's at their discretion there's no rule there's no law there's no order um they are basically tyrants they can do anything to you anytime they want certain people are above the law but not the average little guy you're you're a normal person so you you can't do that but bill gates can jeff bezos can the rockefellers can but you can't do it we don't want serfs like you, peasants like you, doing anything outside of the ordinary because there's more of you than there are of us. So we have to control you. We have to watch your behavior. We have to monitor you 24 seven. And this will be the birth of a new nanny state. You are no longer treated like an adult that has the right to privacy, to freedom to anything you will instead be treated like a child a small child that needs to be watched for your own safety it's it's no better no different than china we we always laugh at china all the time saying wow that's that's such a bad country that's but yet we do the same thing and I'm starting to think at least China is able to house its 1 billion citizens. You don't see any skid rows in China. You just don't. There are no skid rows in China because they actually somewhat care about their citizens. 
This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. So now we no longer have freedom. And at the same time, we don't have privacy and we don't have opportunity. So again, what is this country so good at? Um, we pretty much lost every major war within the last 60 years. What are we good at? What are we good at? So yeah, this just completely goes against American values. Right here in Atlanta, the six year old tech startup is already valued at three and a half billion dollars and police departments across the country are lining up to join the flock. Have you ever seen a piece of technology take hold this quickly? No, this was, this is a game changer. Grafton police chief Jeff Caponera was among the first to get them in Wisconsin. Like overnight, cameras just started popping up everywhere. Two years later. So notice everywhere. They gotta have these everywhere. There can't be a single space where the, the, the plebs can have privacy. Oh, they might be, they might be doing something I don't like behind my back. I gotta have these cameras everywhere. Everywhere. This is insane. This is insane paranoid paranoia. Matter of fact, everything should be illegal except murder and rape and theft. Everything else should be illegal. They have all these small, teeny tiny laws in order to you know take away your rights and put you in jail so the prison industrial complex can you know profit off of your suffering here at least 219 flock cameras are actively scanning traffic in the milwaukee area with plans for nearly a hundred more so a hundred more are you serious Ch we're no different than china we're, oh, we're the good guy. Like, this is America, how America is all the time. Oh, we're the good guys. We gotta be the world police. We're, oh, China's the bad guy. And then we do the same things as China. We do the same authoritarian nonsense as China. So what makes us so good? We're not here. We're just selling out our values. We're, we're just, hey, China's doing it, so that means we can do it. Oh man, China's bad. China's bad. Oh, let's copy China. The heck, man. And tw 10, 20 years ago, not 10 years ago, but 10 years ago, I said this exact same thing would happen. America would be like China. We'd start mimicking China. And then all the other all the other medium to small size countries will start doing this. And then after that, they're going to start connecting those systems. They're going to use algorithms to track you. If you leave one country, the cameras will track you to another country. And then this AI algorithm will give a huge summary of what you did and what, what is bad about what you did or what is good about what you did. And then they'll pretty much say, we're going to be a one world government. And they're going to merge all these systems together. And then what are you going to do? Where are you going to run? Nowhere. Grafton has 10. We're interrupting more crimes than we ever have. West Dallas, 20. We obviously can't have officers all over the city all the time and waukesha 28 with three more on the way i think we owe it to the community to leverage as much technology as we can of the 36 largest police departments in southeastern wisconsin our investigation finds three quarters already have flock cameras or have contracts to install them soon and departments without cameras can still pay to search flocks database that captures more than so a database a freaking database that's accessible to literally anybody with the right credentials what could go wrong what could go wrong what could possibly go wrong having this omnipotent system where it's tracking millions of people what could possibly go wrong oh but but uh, they, 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 they know what to do with that technology. It, it, it couldn't pop. Like, come on. Somebody's going to look up their ex. People are going to get murdered from stalkers. 
that have access to this technology um people only focus on the good about this technology but never the bad never the bad what if you're trying to get away from somebody that's crazy they can log into this system find out where you are oh he's in um florida guess i'm moving up. like crazy people will be able to find you anytime they want how is that a good thing without your consent you don't have consent there is no consent we're just going to put up these cameras we're just going to watch you wherever you go see what you do and you can't do anything about it so basically all of america will be like a walmart oh you want you want to go down this road you're going to have to be watched everything is watched and yes crime is an issue but there's better ways to handle it crime happens for a very specific reason we need two parent households we need more more guidance we need more unity in our society we don't have any unity we're always divided on whatever um greed we're like crabs in a barrel all the time every day hyper competition people competing for scraps like 20 people competing for the same housing artificial scarcity i mean come on man oh we're just gonna not fix any of that stuff we're just gonna put a bunch of cameras while not fixing any of the problems not fixing the housing crisis not not fixing trust not fixing anything not fixing our budget not fi fixing our debt our unbelievable size debt not fixing student loans bankruptcies massive wealth gap between the rich and the poor so they don't care they're not gonna fix any of that when was the last time a politician fixed anything fixed anything when was the last time they even did what they say they were going to do when they became president never never ever ever it's always the exact opposite because they're not on the same team as us so yeah this is just getting ridiculous i'm i'm gonna watch a little bit more of this one billion vehicles every month i have the ability to network with over seventeen thousand different cameras across the nation and that allows for mass searches across the, the country that's powerful yes flock says its cameras do not use facial recognition and they don't measure speed they do compare license plates to hot lists of stolen and wanted vehicles and alert officers the moment one passes by every point of ingress and egress in my village is covered west Dallas police say those alerts sometimes lead to chases that prevent car thieves from committing more crime it keeps them from being in our city you can run them out of town y correct unlike other surveillance tools flock cameras are solar powered require little infrastructure and cost less up front instead of buying the cameras police lease them for 2500 so it wasn't enough to have police cars that automatically scan license plates like police cars now they automatically scan license plate so if your registration is like a day late they'll be able to find that they they can find anything they can find your first last name without your consent this is all a violation of the the fourth amendment they can find all they don't need probable cause it used to be you needed probable cause before even looking at that information now they just scan license plates they just do what they want they don't care stop stop any random car now they can spy on you literally literally spying through your phones spying at, on you when you're at the park spying on you when you're at the mall spying on you when you're dry always watching big brothers watching and are these same people held accountable no no big brother man this this is it's so obvious imagine this technology in 50 years it will get better it will get so good it will be able to zoom in on your phone from like a mile away and see what you're typing 
They will be able to freaking see through walls. See what you're doing. What, what are you doing in there? What you doing in that house? And then it's going to spy on you. It's going to know everything about you and add it into an algorithm. Billions of data predicting your every move. It's going to be able to read your mind at some point. If, if you have a giant collection of data about a certain person, eventually it's going to know your very next move before you even do it. So yeah, um, I'm going to end it here. But if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe.